Alright, we've got a new rogue today, for the first time in a while. It's called Security Sphere 2012. So now we're going into the range of geometry. So you know it's serious. And unfortunately for both of us, it's VM aware. So, just for safekeeping, we're also running an instance of Wireshark on another computer. And what's great is that both computers are hooked up to a hub. Aspiring researchers, take note of this. Get yourself a hub, because you can silently log packets. So, let's get started. Fire up that web browser. See? It's loading all that. And we're just going to go to the site. And save our fake antivirus. About enough of that. Alright, so go ahead and run it. Seems to have disappeared. But there it is. Task manager. All right, there it is, in your face, the sphere. So you can tell what it's a clone of, and obviously it's going to behave exactly the same. So we've got block programs, but I believe we have, or I believe we are able to still browse. So that's nice. And it doesn't try to block any websites. Anyway, so, yep, same scanner. As you can see, it also changes your wallpaper. Kind of annoying. Go ahead and stop the scan. 15 infections. Continue for now. Let's go ahead and register. Get a license. Yep, there it goes. So we got some TLS. So this shit is secure. Interesting. Very interesting. So, yep, same payment page. They want 9145. Just go ahead and close that out. Protection, privacy, update, settings. Only three languages this time. I guess the big three. So, let's get started removing this. And yes, there is a key to remove it. So, but it doesn't actually remove the files. It just makes this thing shut up and let you run programs. So it's not really necessary for removal to uh, put in a key, but we're gonna do it anyway. So, let's see. So this is in the description too. Click activate, there's your wallpaper, and it's going to fake clean your computer. It tells you to reboot, so we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so the program is still running, we're just not seeing it yet. Something just minimized. There it is. See, it's still here, but of course we want to remove it the right way. So, I'm going to skip to method B of removal. So just pretend I didn't put in a registration key. What you want to do is boot into safe mode with networking. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Start 
happen to fate. Go down to safe mode with networking. And there it goes. Alright, so we're going to download Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Very common, very useful, and it works pretty well. So, Of course, the link for this and the uh, key are all going to be in the description, so no worries about that. We'll just go ahead and save it to the desktop. Go ahead and run it. Install, accept the agreement. Finish. Go ahead and decline the trial, update, and go back to the scanner run a full scan. Now the scan could take a very long time depending on how many files are on your hard drive. The scan is probably going to take about 10 minutes but it could take up to like a few hours so be prepared to wait. That was pretty accurate 10 minutes 16 seconds. So now you click OK show results and there are the files. Go ahead and click uh, Remove Selected. Close the log. Click Yes to restart. Alright, and the sphere should be gone. That'll wrap up this removal video. If it helped you, definitely appreciate donations. October 21, my registration for my domain name expires. It's like 60 bucks to renew, so what happens after that, nobody knows. So, we will see you guys next time. I am out.